was was the Nine Inch Nails thing your first big break, or did you have some stuff yeah, before that? Yeah, well, I had already turned into like a 20-year-old or 20, 21-year-old uh, jaded musician after those those first three or four years. I, I was already like willing to just like, I was just, we were, there was this like joke band called Collapse, and it was Andy Kubaszewski who was in the Exotic Birds with Trent Reznor. Right. And then Andy went on to join um, Stabbing Westward. Mm -hmm. And, but before that, Andy had this like, this band that was just kind of industrial, but it was kind of a joke. But I remember having fun with it. I remember like, you know, I, I, I dressed up and I got like way more industrial. I was already listening to like Ministry and Skinny Puppy and everything. Mm -hmm. So I figured it was just gonna be like free beer. You know, it's like, all right, cool, I had free beer. And then Trent saw me, he knew he knew me from the Exotic Birds and when I was in the act and we used to open up for the Exotic Birds and then um, all of a sudden Trent had gotten a deal. Right. We were like, holy shit, those are real? <laughs> Somebody and, gets uh, those? <laughs> so, and then he said, I saw you on stage, it's collapsed, like, you look pretty, pretty cool. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's easy, it's fun, I just jump around. And he's like, well, you know, maybe you want to, you know, join Nine Inch Nails and perform and you know do a similar thing but like this time really fucking mean it and I'm like absolutely that sounds great and uh, I joined Nine Inch Nails in, uh, from 1989 to like 93 mm -hmm. and it was bizarre because I'd always come from a, a more of a traditional band kind of mm -hmm. thing where you jam and you put a couple parts together and then you, you know you write a song and it's the four of you and stuff like that but I had always been using drum machines and eight track recorders and stuff like that. It was it was pretty incredible to see a guy just kind of do everything in the studio and then put it together as a project and then whatever live incarnation it was, it was like it just reflected what happened in the studio. Mm -hmm. And that's what when I left uh, Nine Inch Nails, that's kind of what happened with Filter. I always dreamed of it turning into like a rock band, but we recorded short bus with all these demo drums and then we just kind of kept refining them and after a while it was like we don't even like why are we even pretending that we're going to meet someone to play drums and and do better than like what we program because even the programming you know we were we were programming in a in a way that it was like you'd have to have you know three or four arms to in play this to do it, right yeah so um a lot of rules were broken, you know, on Short Bus and, uh, you know, the age of grunge and it's a guitar record, but it's clearly drum machine. And even Moby was like, how did you do it? You're my idol. How did you, you know, do that? I was like, because I'm, I, I don't know any better and I'm fearless and I believe in the songwriting and, you know, Hey Man, Nice Shot was just one of those. People heard that song and it was just totally undeniable. They were like, well, that's it. I had five record contracts, you know, offered to me before I even quit Nine Inch Nails. Oh, really? Yeah, that's why. I, that's why I was like, well, this is this is something I, I should probably do. That. Yeah. And to this day, I mean, that song and Take a Picture and a bunch of others have just made it so that I'll never have to worry about like, you know, uh, you know, I always have, you know, my kids are always going to be taken care of. That's, you know that's a I mean? great feeling, man. Yeah. Just, that's uh, really cool. just always know that these songs are out there working. For